Hello, how are we doing? And he's back. Been away for a week and had no inclination whatsoever to record anything, do a live share or do anything really. And the uh, aftershaves and EDTs video, which was requested by a troll who has since stopped commenting. Uh, he also requested ones for balms, so that's what we're getting done. Cause the, the amount of work he got, it took to put it together, and uh, the amount of time to arrange everything and sort it out. I won't be doing one for balms, so Mr. Troll, tough. <clears throat> I say Mr. Troll because he enjoyed dish, trying to dish out sarcasm, but he didn't like take, receiving it back. And uh, he's watching, mate. Don't bother commenting. So, what are you using today? I've got a sample rolled in the pedestal bowl from Jarl's Shaving of a Bate Lamantia uh, Isaacol, which is black fig and apple. So, something quite. I was going to go menthol. I said menthol. Uh, I've got a. Uh, Alpha shaving, this is the Wickham edition, but re knotted with a 28mm Magards badger, which has been soaking for a wee while. So I'm going to load the brush from the bowl and then we'll crack on. Put them down for now. Grazer, Gillette Slim Adjustable 1967, date code M1, blade, pearl silver. Stainless on its second use. Yeah, interesting week. Good in many respects. Got a lot of stuff tied up with family, so didn't get a chance to do a few things. So there's the blade loaded. It's on setting number eight, which is where we're going to start at. There's the quarter turn done, everything locked down. I can get some heat into it. Yeah, so it was a bit, pretty busy week. Relax and get busy. The interesting part for me was the differences in water. <clears throat> I use that as a deodorant and have done for over a year. Never had a problem or reaction to it. And on Thursday, after we moved from the daughter's house to her partner's parents' house, uh, nice reaction, isn't it? Bit of a burn. Even a, a dip in the English Channel on Friday afternoon didn't really sort it out. And that was quite nice, refreshing, and bracing. So I say, I'm just loading up the the brush on the bowl, and then we'll crack on. It's a lot better than it was the old day. Uh, Armpit rash. So I used it for a year, never had a problem. So the only thing, the only factor I can put it down to is a change of water. Uh, the shaves weren't that good either. I took some samples of new frost away and a little palm oil stick. And the shaves weren't really that great. Rockwell, which is a easy razor to use, and uh, yeah, so a 28 mil knot this one, so it might be a while. So, are you all well? I hope so. I've got a training course with work on Wednesday, so I've got to do a, a COVID test on Tuesday night, which actually works out pretty well for being back in Scotland 48 hours by then. I'm going to do one next weekend as well to make sure we, we've brought no nasty infections back with us. Don't any that English COVID up here, we've got Scottish COVID, it's a lot better. <clears throat>
Yeah, we brought that out well, a week ago. A week, off, a week ago, I finished, so two weeks ago. Any training courses or anything like that, you've got to do a COVID test within 24 hours of attending the, the training period and prove, show the results prior to on, on attendance. If you don't show them, you don't attend. So it'll be a fun packed day sitting in a classroom wearing a mask, getting hot and sweaty. Can't wait. But no, good time down south, as I say. We didn't get everything done and wanted to get done. We were a couple of you know, family things were arranged and took precedence, which is fair enough. I'm not gonna super hydrate at this stage. It smells lovely though, the uh, green apple. So, Gillette Slim Adjustable, Paul Silver, Stainless. So yeah, it was interesting to see three different waters really. I was up here in Scotland, the daughters in, stepdaughters in Surrey, and her partner's parents in, on the South Coast, in Bournemouth. That reaction probably took about eight hours to come out after putting it on. It was like, oh, yeah. I showered that morning, put the deodorant on. And as we were sailing out on the boat, about well, just after lunch. Oh, how I missed the seagulls. Not. We left the nice weather and came back to grey crap. I think it was 31 degrees, around 30 degrees there yesterday. And it was nice and warm, as you can tell by the, the tan. But it was a, a dry day yesterday because we parted a bit the night before at uh, the partner's parents' house and their back garden pub. And, and uh, I think for, a few people were suffering from alcohol intake. I was happy enough to have a night off to stick on water. Nice to be back in your own bathroom. Right, I'm going to slacken, slacken the doors and adjust it down to number five. We're not going to go, we're not going to go crazy. Let's tighten the back up and give it a half twist. Yeah, so this soap's Italian. It's not a hard soap, it's more of a crop. Black fig and green apple. You certainly get the green apple. It's, uh, it's a sample sent back to me by Craig. Craig Will. Craig, thanks, mate. I hadn't used this soap base until a few weeks ago, and it is your, almost your stereotypical. Italian soft soap base. And and this brush is next to the, uh, the Strike Gold Shave brushes that I've got. It's the most ergonomic and comfortable to use of any brush. So 
So before I went away, I bought a new, I ordered a new razor from the States. And last week, two and a half weeks later, I did a dispatch notice within a short period of time. And the razors were shown in stock. There was no notices on the site. The still aren't, I just checked before I came on here. Reference the razors being pre order. So last week I'm sitting, getting an email from them saying, Can we have some feedback? So I left it. That was actually probably the week, early in the week. So I checked the, uh, the shipping condition. Still hasn't changed, still hasn't. The label's been printed with the item, hasn't been dispatched. So like the feedback for them. I was polite, except for the star rating I gave them. Which was one star. Within all eight minutes, I had an email back from the company saying, it's the first one star review we've ever received, can you please amend it? No. They sent me a, a supposed screenshot of the web page order from, which is totally different to the one I viewed when I ordered the razor, which is different to what I've just seen today, which is the same as it was when I ordered. So I don't know where the hell they're getting their web page from. Please not have mentioned the company yet. Soap smells really nice with the green apple. Once we've got unpacked everything sorted out, I'll thought, just check, see if the shipping condition has changed. Saying that I'm now expecting a super slow, slow ship because uh, I left a comment that they didn't agree with. I'm going to drop that on number three. So basically, the lesson there is if you're going to have stuff on a website, either make it very, very clear. It's a pre-order, and don't when you and customers complain if you're trying to do pre-orders without making it readily available information to customers. That is a pre-order. I'm not going to name the company at this moment in time. We'll see how things pan out in the next two weeks. However. If it arrives before Christmas, I'll be surprised. But we shall see. However, if you're watching, I'm not going in the company, insert name here. Sort your shit out. Don't when you're like a two year old kid and somebody leaves you an honest review about your customer service. I would suggest having a banner at the top of the item web page, which also, because they've just copied the web page from a previous, another product, and half the web page refers to that product, not the product that they're selling on that page. Keep it simple and do it right. It's not rocket science, is it? As a subtle hint, I'll let you guess the, uh, the name of the company. Because it's a winner. 
Yeah, I think we've enough soap here for a face wash. Yeah, it's a winner. I'm going to leave it at that. You can work it out for yourselves from that. Clip, clip, clip. See you in a minute. Yeah, pretty good shave. Nice face wash. Face feels pretty good. Which hazel? Which hazel? Any hazel? Nivea decanted into a small travel size bottle. So there we go. A couple of wee weepers, but they'll soon sort themselves out. So what have we used today? A Bate Lamantia Eyes of Gore Hey, you got that one right, he says reading from his notes A sample of that, which we lathered up with Alpha Shaving, 28ml, 2 band Using a Giles Shaving pedestal ball with nodules in the bottom to assist the lather creation and we knocked everything off with a Gillette Slim Adjustable with a Persona stainless blade in it. Or pulse, yeah, pulse over stainless blade in it. Told you about the wig. Told you about some shit customer service from the company. And we're done. I'm not going to go and watch the golf. And there. Uh, hope. Mr. Oosthaze and wins it. Anyhow, any comments, leave them below. Even the troll, feel free to come back and comment again, mate. So how far I get you before I get sarcastic. Uh, that's it. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.